I know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tony Magnabo, and if you're like me, you love ham. And not like just any ham, uh, but cooked ham. Real, just plain old ham. Fuck a honey ham, fuck a maple ham, fuck a turkey-based ham. Just a nice sliced deli ham, preferably very thin sliced deli ham. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do with your uh, deli sliced ham when you've got too much of it and you need to move some of it. Because just this week, uh, I went to the Hannaford, our local grocery store, and wouldn't you know it, cooked ham at the deli was on special for $3.99 a pound. And I thought, better get a pound of that. <laughs> Just kidding. But really, though, I thought, yeah, I better get a pound of that. And so I did. I come back here to realize that I've still got a half a pound of the deli cooked ham that I got from like a week ago. So I thought, I better do something about this. And um, I thought of a whole bunch of different options because there's a great many things that you can do as most of you who love deli ham, you, you can do with your deli ham. You could shoot. I could uh, fry it up and put it in some rice. Uh, I could put it in some eggs, make an omelet. Um, I could, uh, I don't know. I could roll it up with some provolone cheese in a little log, put it in the microwave, melt all the cheese until I get what I like to call cheesy rolls, but those get messy. They burn your fingers if the cheese gets real hot. So tonight I thought I need to get rid of some provolone cheese and some ham. So I'm going to go to the gross, my local grocery store and get a, a frozen pizza. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm going to put the ham and the cheese on the pizza, cook it. I'm not even supposed to eat pizza. I have a hiatal hernia. When I eat acidic foods like tomatoes or pepperoni or shit like that, my stomach freaks and it goes up and this herniated spot in my sternum right here allows my stomach to actually slide up into my esophagus which makes my esophagus seize and I suffocate. It's awful. But I really need to get rid of this ham so I thought what better way than with a nice ham pizza. So I thought I'll go to the grocery store and I'll get a cheap, plain old frozen cheese pizza. You know, grocery store brand, like everything I buy. Now I get to the grocery store. I look at the grocery store brand cheese pizza, $3.39. I thought that's reasonable. Then I look at the grocery store brand pepperoni pizza. $3.39. Starting to think, hmm, I wonder what else I can get for $3.39. I come across this store brand Supreme Pizza. Onions, green peppers, red peppers, pepperoni, uh, sausage. I mean, that's one, two, three, that's five toppings. You know what, it, what this one was? $3.39. And I thought to myself, I'm no fool. I'm not going to buy a cheese pizza just because I only want to put ham on it. I'm not going to buy a cheese pizza for $3.39 when I can buy a Supreme pizza with five goddamn toppings on it for $3.39. Think I'm a sucker. I'm not. Huh? All right. So let's get that straight. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open this pizza and we're gonna get rid of all this shit that's on it that I didn't want. Because remember, I just wanted a cheese pizza. I can't really have pepperonis or onions. Uh, it really causes my uh, stomach to flare up with with reflux, acid reflux. Um, if I have time, I'll post a link to acid reflux here or here or somewhere and you can read all about it. It's very unpleasant. So I'm just gonna get all these toppings off the pizza. 
he's it's a little bit inconvenient um it it would be easier frankly for those of you watching at home if you did just want a cheese pizza it would it would be easier just to buy a cheese pizza but you wouldn't be getting the same value uh, because again here for the same price i got all these olives and peppers and onions I, I mean i don't want them and i'm not i'm not going to eat them but it'd be foolish to pay the same price for less stuff so i got this because they're not gonna they're not gonna fool me over there so just as soon as i get all this sausage and stuff cleaned up you know what i'll keep the sausages I'll keep the sausages, but I don't want these peppers, and I don't want these olives. Well, some olives are okay, but I don't want these peppers, especially the red ones. Those are, those are going to be no good for me. So I'm going to take all my toppings, I'm going to discard them onto my plate. That's step one, is f fucking get all your toppings off the pizza. Now, I do like pepperoni. So I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to just cut them into smaller pieces. That way, uh, they won't, they won't uh, be as powerful and they also will get crispier. Uh, that's a little trick that you learn when you're Italian. If you cut things smaller, they get crispier. They call it cris, cris, crispere in, a, in Italy. We're gonna throw these pepperonis on here, and then we're gonna take my ham, which I've already cut, just store brand ham, and we're gonna make that go around the pizza. I may have done too much of it. I did a sort of a spiral slice. Uh, I wanna show you how I, how I did this. I took one slice of ham, <clears throat> and I rolled it up the same way that you would do a carpet if you were moving out of an apartment or uh, hiding something inside of it and putting it in a trunk and then I lay it out and then like a like a fish with my knife I come right down the center of the rolled up ham and then I cut in about half to one inch size pieces. And I'm just gonna add those to this now delicious looking pizza that at one point was just a plain old cheese pizza. At least it was supposed to be until I got the Supreme pizza. But now we're gonna take our uh, grocery store brand uh, provolone cheese. I needed to get rid of this too. This is really just about getting rid of things. You know, you got things laying around your fridge. You got to get rid of them. Make something delicious. And uh, this is, uh, I'm just going to come around the pizza with these slices of provolone cheese that are only slightly moldy and I'll have to, they're expired tomorrow. Uh, Tomorrow, and so I got to get rid of them. So there's there and there and and there. Now this is ready to go into the oven. And you've taken, you've gone to the grocery store and you've taken a plain old cheese pizza, your idea for a cheese pizza. You've turned that into a supreme pizza for the same exact price. You've come home to where you need to get rid of some ham and some cheese. You've removed the supreme toppings from your pizza because you never wanted them in the first place, but you're not going to pay the same price for cheese that you would for supreme. So these will, uh, will figure out, they'll just get thrown away or maybe I'll put them in some rice again. I Basically anything I have left over usually when it's rotting or it's just something I don't want, but I need to get rid of it. I don't want to waste money. I just throw it in some rice. I cook some rice. I throw it in with some butter and some salt. And it's usually delicious and uh, oftentimes doesn't make you sick. 
Um, this is going to be delicious. I'm going to, I've got the oven preheated and I'm going to throw it in there. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, uh, you've had enough time, uh, to spend with this and, uh, round two of the playoffs start tomorrow for the Boston Bruins. And so I'm probably going to have some sort of dish that I'm going to have to cook before that. Maybe I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, Here's how you get rid of some spare ham and some spare provolone cheese that you got just sitting around in your fridge or your pantry. You make a nice pizza out of a supreme pizza and take all the toppings off and then put them on. Thanks for watching.